This is a £2,000 full electric car, but this is not what this video is about. It's actually about that car there, which is a non-runner. It's got a significant fault and its last MOT was October 2022. Aha! Yes, it's another Renault Zoe. It's either a Leaf or a Zoe at this age, so let, we'll just have to skip past that one. Um, but 2017, which tells us 40, 40. kilowatt hour battery. Yeah. And bargain, because fully battery owned. And it cost less than that one. Yes. How much do you think? I don't know why I'm asking you, because you can't put obviously... Put in the comments. Ask. Yes. <laughs> don't fast forward and rewind. No, 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 no. Pause it, put in the comment what you think. This cost, with the known fault, 1,000... 450 pounds. Oh, that, that was in sync, was that? 1,450 quid, which the fault is the motor. It's it, quite substantial. Yeah, it, we, we don't know what it is. It could be something simple. It could be an entire, entire new motor. There's a story we'll tell you about in terms of what the original owner had the issue with and why he couldn't get it repaired. It's 40 kilowatt hour, 2017 Zoe with, what, nearly 80,000 80, miles? 80,000, one owner, full Renault service yeah. history. One owner from new Renault service history. So I reckon this would be a five to five and a half thousand I pound car. So. Yeah. Today. If it was fully working. Yeah. But it was sight unseen. Because of the distance, Ipswich-ish, to North Yorkshire. It just Yorkshire. didn't make sense, did it? Yeah, so we got it, we got it transported up here because the travel in was just, well, it was a gamble. <coughs> now, we can reduce that risk, that gamble, just a little bit, even with a car with a known fault, by checking its history. And this is something I've done with every single used purchase ever I've ever made. About six, seven months ago, I nearly bought a content car, an EV, which looked fine. Everything looked good. I spoke to the person, the advert, it all ticked the boxes. I then run a report on that car and it told me that for two of its seven years, it was stationary. It done zero miles. I then asked some questions, which they, after pushing, uh, answered and ended up walking away because the answers I got, just, it didn't make sense. There wasn't something that just, it was red flags. The report in question is car vertical. I have genuinely used this for years. Every single content car, in fact. If I look at my history on my account, here's the original Zoe I bought ooh, nearly two years ago. Remember the black Tesla Model S that had done nearly 180,000, 90,000 miles? That's the report from it. I can genuinely say this is good value and it makes sense. The Zoe that we're talking about in this video, everything on the report here, it's all green ticks, it's all good, and it matches what the advert and the person who we spoke to over the phone told us about the car. But what if you get a report and the car has something wrong with it, a damage? So I've picked one of these reports as an example. It's a Mercedes-Benz EQS. As you can see here, we've got some yellow attention flags. Something has happened to this car. It's been damaged. And if I scroll down, you've got photographs. And I can see what the car was like after, whoopsie, it was crashed. Imagine if you were buying that and you didn't know that it was crash damaged. Or you just wanted to see what it looked like beforehand. Has it been used as a taxi, as we can see here? That's another big thing for me, especially with EVs, because it affects the warranty on some manufacturer's cars. Has it ever been stolen, driving vehicle school? That's, that's quite unusual, but the checks are always there. You've got over 30 countries, and if nothing comes back from a report that you get done, then you get your reports back. And you know what else we've got? A 20% discount code. EVM is the discount code. It's not just the big boys. I've got my own one as well. 20% off. And for a, a report of this tiny fraction of the cost of whatever car you're buying, it's, a, it, it's worth every single penny just for that peace of mind. And it is, again, something I have genuinely done for years before I started working with Car Vertical. So here's the code, EVM. And I put a link in the description and as a pinned comment. All you have to do is click on that. It injects the code for you. So you don't even have to type that in. You just click on that link and then go and get your reports. And again, if it doesn't come back with anything, you get your reports back. So thanks to Car Vertical for basically giving us the opportunity to take a gamble. So now we're going to go through the car to find out what's wrong with it, other than the fault that we already know about, which is the with motor's making a very loud noise. Extensive knowledge of cars. Yes, yes. Kick oh, a tyre. I've go. got some man tools. Have you? Look. Oh, brilliant. This, a, thingy. a screwdriver, screwdriver and some silicon spray. We're not trying to repair this ourselves. We're not Matt Armstrong, are we? No, we've we not don't got the tools or the time. No, we don't have the tools, the time or the skill, quite frankly. We're doing something that's recreatable by anyone. This was bought from an advert on Auto Trader, not through the auctions, not through a motor trader. That's cheating. Wasn't this Auto the trader. cheapest EV 
on auto trader. It was the cheapest electric car on auto trader at its time, yes. And we even got a bit off it. Yeah. So this is something that we're going to use independent garages to repair. And we haven't found one yet. So that's the first challenge. Uh, we're not doing it ourselves. We're not using main dealers for reasons we'll come to again in, in the video. So this is something that if you really wanted to, you could you recreate it yourself. yourself. There's no I cheating. I can see yet. with the amount of risk, this is why I've bought this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. I am bought this. <laughs> because th th genuinely though, this could be a paperweight that's a monumental cost to the channel it or could be. a bargain. Well, for me, the battery itself is going to be worth more than we've paid ah, for it. Yeah, I think so. Assuming that, of course, is also okay because it's been sat since summer 23-ish. Yeah, it's been sat a while, hasn't it? Yeah, although the previous owner uh, we had a long chat with, he said that he did kind of turn it on, move it backwards and forwards and, and you know, charge it occasionally. The so, brakes out, yeah. see, so that's sort of, that yeah. carries up with so, the story. Sh should we have a look around it and see <laughs> what our basic knowledge can at least tell whatever garage we find, yeah. what's wrong with it, yeah. and see if we can fix anything. Let's go I think we it. should give ourselves five points for everything we fix. Right. Can't get in. <laughs> so that's the first problem. <laughs> Button's not doing anything. Oh. oh, hang on. I'm in. But I've noticed one thing. That's five points. Yeah, but do, lock it again. That works. Yeah, but that done. Yeah, that's not. Shall I try the main beam? Yeah, try the main beam. Oh, that, that could be a bulb. That could be 10 that points. That could be, that, if it's a bulb, that's what, 50p? Oh, that, no. Oh, so that entire cluster ain't working. The whole cluster? Yeah. This I can do. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, hello. Uh, there's a cigarette butt on this one. Ugh. There's no, I mean, what I'm going to look for, if he's been stood for two years, is any sign that, oh, Wait a minute. Is that as simple as that? Plug it in. Do we dare? Full beam. It's working! <laughs> we fixed something! That's 10 points to us. Just this bit was loose. It was loose? Yeah, what I was looking for though is was like rodent damage. Um, if it's been stood for a while, sometimes mice can get yeah, in. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, it's not stuff. too bad. And it was under a car port. No, it just needs a good clean, doesn't it? Just to clean out the drains. We could put a cane and air induction kit on this. Couldn't induction we? kit, yeah. Well, it, yeah, we'll modify that does it later. Need the oil changing. That <laughs> it does. It does. Ooh. Oh, what's what's the battery on in terms of the percentage? I don't, I don't mean the state of health. I'm talking uh, about because he said that he'd give it a charge before we he, he got picked up. Oh, look, look, it's full. Right. Yeah, it's full. It is full. Right. So if the battery's full, that means it charges fine. You would think so. Okay. Do you know? Look at this as well. The silver bezel it's hasn't worn. Yeah. What's that? That tyre looks very low. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. But have you also spotted something else? Premium brand tyres. Michelin tyre. All round. All round. That, for me, wow. is somebody that hasn't cheap, cheaped out on uh, keeping his car maintained. And well, the full ser Renault service history also up. suggests that too. Yeah. Bricks. That's quite a oh, bit. Yeah. I think they, we're going to get them replaced, aren't we? Is there... And new discs. Yeah, new discs, new pads. New Maybe discs, the calipers pads, need calipers. refurbs. Okay, yeah. And the tyres aren't that old either, 2021. And to be honest, they've got decent tread on. Yeah. Wow. That's a saver. So far, it's not looking as terrible as I thought. Right, so we fixed what could have been... Let's face it, that's a 500 quid job at a dealer. Oh, yeah, plugging that in, that's 500 <laughs> They'd have replaced yeah. the whole yeah. light They unit. would have done, yeah. Right, yeah. so... Um, it that's definitely solid. charges because it's 100%. Yeah. There's no way it'd be 100% if it didn't charge. Everything at least looks like it's okay. The 12 volt's fine because the car unlocks and locks now the... Uh... Oh, hang on. Has it got decent wipers? Wipers, yeah. I also look, always look at wipers. I can't see any Bosch logo. No. I wouldn't say it's mint, but it's very, very close There's to it. There's a little bit there, isn't there? There's a... No, no. That's a mark. Tiny little scratch there. It's done 80,000 miles, one owner from new, which... It tells me it's been looked after. I mean, the tyres, again, tell us it, it hasn't been a, a wrecking ball for anybody. There's no corrosion. Oh, what's that? What's that? There's I can a, see something a here. Mark, there's a marker there. I don't want to touch it unless it's... It might be bird poo. It's bird oh, poo. Yeah, it's bird poo. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is almost mint in terms of the body. It is. Wow. For 1,450 quid. Wow, we've got a boot. Hey, cable. Hey, a couple of hundred quid there. Yeah, look at that. What's that? Some LED lighting. Do you think they were bought trying to fix the headlight? Could have been. Could have been. And we've, and we've just plugged it back in again. Not, never been opened. Never been opened. No. Oh, wow. It's got a smell of... Oh. Well, like being left. 
Not damp, but you know, if you've ever walked in a house that no one's oh, lived in for a while. It's not wet anywhere, is it? What's it has rained look? recently, so if Check there's any leaks, yeah. is the boot dry? Check under here. Wow, I haven't been touched, has it? No, no. No well, water? It, no, it would be wet in here, wouldn't it? If it was settling anywhere, it'd yeah. be the bottom of there. And the, to be honest, the boot doesn't smell of, of any dampness, does it really? No, just... and look how clean that boot is. There's no, usually it's full of rubbish, isn't it? Bits of sand and this all sorts of stuff. an eight-year-old car that's done 80,000 miles nearly. You'd expect worse, and I've seen way worse. I've seen way worse. Anything? Not, it feels, it's not damp, it just, I think it's just cold. It just feels a bit different. Yeah, there's no water under there. It's bone no, dry, is that? Dry, isn't Absolutely it? bone dry. No, no. And just a bit of a... Yeah, a bit of a smudge. I don't know what that is. Something's been spilt there, hasn't it? It's sticky. Is it? Oh, oh. So we've got sticky, sticky, so sticky fingers in the rear. And no, 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 no. oh, look what I found! Presents. What's that? Ooh, bolts. We've got a locking wheel nut. <laughs> well, who would nick these wheels? <laughs> <laughs> hey, An old LVD two thingy. Okay, uh, right. You ready? Any error messages? Uh, there's a spanner. Spanner. Oh, oh, oh. carry out service. Carry out service. That must be a service light. Don't which get. I'm sure you could probably cancel via some combination of... Adjust tyre pressure. Ah. Oh. Right, that, that hasn't come up with anything else other than service and tyre. So that's a good thing. Um, it's not caught fire. No. That's a good thing. This is a, a, a known weak spot, I think, isn't it, as always. Shall we go for heat or air conditioning? It's 15 degrees outside, let's, let's go, go for, for heat. heat. Oh, yeah. a bit of a oh, damp yeah. smell. I think the... Uh... I can go in neutral, drive and reverse, that's fine. We've got a camera, and camera works. But yeah, ooh. Mm, ooh. Cabin filter. Oh, that, that, that's, that's a bit the... of a pond. Yeah. yeah, that might be the smell that was in the car. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's just outside air, is that? Yeah. I don't think this is working, is it? No. Let's try that. Just blowing cold air out of us. Right, so climate control not working. Should we say that then? I think that's... that's. I'm thinking it's been stood still for two years. There's a chance it could just need a regas. Eh, eh. Look at that. No squeaks. And... Rear as well. Oh, wow. That's posh. All right, that's definitely not working. Let's turn that off just yeah, to... Yeah, don't need that on now, do we? Now, is it worth... Just moving it forwards and backwards. Just on the drive? Well, it's got an engine fault, motor fault, according to him. We'll either hear something like, or yeah. not. Yeah, well, it's, did, uh, did drive off the trailer? I'm not on the brake. That sounds perfect to me. There's a whine. The parking sensors work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, so the motor works, it's just noisy. Hmm. Because you've got the motor, and then you've got the like a transfer box. Oh, the gear you? reduction box. Yeah, could be that. Well, should we tell them the story it's of the car, how we came across? Yeah. So, so effectively, the guy uh, had had it from new. Is I think it was his wife's. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. she was driving it, and then he got in it and noticed the noise. She oh just, yeah, she just put the music up. Apparently so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's what he said. Anyway, and uh, so he's like, "How long has he been doing that for?" He, he, he didn't know. Uh, not long, but ultimately, he there was it, something wrong. Yeah, wasn't he took it there? to Renault, a main dealer, yeah. who said, "You need a new motor." Now we all know that main dealers don't bother trying to fix anything; they just replace entire units. So that doesn't mean we need a new motor. It could be the, the, the bearings. Be, yeah, it could be some simple reduction. It could be bearings are known, I think, yeah. on the Zoe, uh, or it could be a, a new motor. But Although that's it did worst move. case, isn't it? Yeah, I that's think. the worst case scenario. So that's he said yes to that, which I believe is four to five thousand pounds. Wow. Said, roughly, he didn't give us a which exact. is what ironically the cars probably worth. Probably only worth about that. Bad so, day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But oh, then yeah. They, yeah, then they had it another in total something like ten months, waiting for a part, a new motor. Did, didn't he spot it parked in their local yeah. supermarket car park? They ditched it in a, a supermarket car park next door. Yeah. Instead and of he their went own shopping. Dealer. Yeah, and saw his own car there. Yeah. So anyway. Dealers aside, they were waiting for a part for 9, 10, 11 months. And he just, I, my guess is he just thought, I've had enough of this. Yeah. Give me the damn thing back. Yeah. So 15, 16 months later, he basically obviously got sick of it, stuck it on an auto trader. 
couldn't find anyone local to him to, yeah, yeah. Uh, to fix it in terms of independent dealers. And obviously the main dealers said, oh, we just can't get parts. And by this point, they'd already bought her another car. Yeah, I guess, some, I guess yeah, it yeah, just yeah, yeah. became a problem in the yeah, corner. Yeah. So I, I don't think that'll be the major issue, finding somebody. And before anybody says on their ticket to Cleveland, they're an eight hour round trip. And things like this cannot be fixed on your driveway. What we want is, oh, it's just a gear reduction problem. Yep. Nice and easy, you don't have to take the motor out, I think. Uh, you're missing some aircon gas. Yeah. We've fixed the headlights. That's it. Fixed the uh, key fob. Yeah, pump <laughs> the tyre up. Putting a battery in it. Yeah, hopefully there's nothing wrong with the tyre in terms of a puncher, but I it's, think it's just dis- been sat for I ages. think probably uh, discs, discs and, and pads. pads. And an MOT, Is course. it drums on the back? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, yeah. So they might, uh, worst case scenario, they might need a strip. So it needs a full service? Yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll be getting it serviced, be yeah. fixing the thing, won't we? So... And what would you service on this? I just think you could just... Uh, do you know what? Given what we're doing to the motor, I don't think there's anything I, left. I think moving on from this, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't think of servicing a car of this age, an electric car. Apart from brakes and discs. Yeah, well, take it, you know, MOT time. I'd say, can you yeah. give the... Brake you know, fluid and Yeah, and do like that. that yeah. But in terms of it having a service, I'd just do the cabin filter myself. There's no warning lights on here now, no. apart from the tyre pressure. Oh, 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 oh. Well, what's here? Light works. Oh, no. Ah! Oh, look at that. Right, well, um, I think that's the next job then, to find a garage. Yeah. Which I think is going to be harder than what we've fixed I it. I think, yeah. So, so what we've done is, we've done this the wrong way around, haven't we? We've bought a car without finding somebody to fix it. <laughs> so, you can recreate this if we do it right. <laughs> yeah. Or we will just prove to people that you, that can't, you can't fix one. And it's, yeah, and at the end of, yeah, I guess if you get a problem like this with a car this old, it is just time to say goodbye. Scrap it, see what someone gives you for it. Which is a shame. It just shows as well that the weak points with electric vehicles mm. aren't the batteries. No, no, no. It's, it's 80,000 yeah. miles, the battery's got tons of life left in it. It's French electrics. It's French electric, <laughs> yeah. But it's always the battery that people worry about. It is, yeah. To put this into some sort of context in combustion, yeah. you're the Mini. I had a Mini. Why were in them fault? Yeah, the, yeah. The, well, intermittent. Yeah. And the Mini specialist said it. What? Uh, he said it's not worth me fixing it because it'll take far too long and I can't book you in because there's only two of us. And he didn't want to do it. No, get rid of it. And that was a specialist of the car. Yeah. So just... And the car was worth more, a lot more than the... the, yeah, the, the, the I loved that there. car for about five years. So also, I probably still have it now. So this happens in petrol world. So that yeah. was younger and yeah. I won't say it got written off. But it was it was worth way less than it should have been it, yeah. because of that fault. that fault and no one willing to repair it. Yeah, well, exactly. you get it? Because you willing yeah. to pay. Well, for BMW it. didn't want to do either. So, so this is nothing unique to EVs. Is no, it? and BMW changed the design from twenty eighteen onwards. Yeah, because they realised that there's a fault. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. It's no different than it always has been. No, it's always been. Yes. You take a chance. Some cars are good. Some cars are bad. Yeah. Right. Uh, next job is mine then to find a garage. It is.